Hi guys, see you again. For your information, we're still in chapter one, information information processing cycle. In this second part, we will take some situations. So I mean uh, very real situations that always happen in our daily lives. Buying a donut. Let's see the, the questions below. Abang Bear buy two boxes of donuts, which 12 ringgit each. Cashier do the payment process using point of sale machines or POS in front of the store. Before you can answer, you need to know what is POS. In simple words, we can say that POS is a machines or computer devices that used by cashier for processing uh, transactions and processing payment. Please do some research, research from internet to get more details about POS. Explain all stages in information processing cycle for situations above. Imagine that you are a cashier that work at that store. What would you do? So the first stage is the input. The question is what data that entered into the system? Of course, the first data into the system is item The item that the buyer bought is donuts. The second one, of course, quantity. There are two boxes that Abang Bear buy. And the last data is the cashier should, should enter the price which is 12 ringgit per boxes, per box. All the inputs are entered through input devices. Such as keyboard and barcode reader. What computer do after the data is entered? Of course, the computer will calculate. The price of donut. Whereas two boxes times 12 ringgit. Then, computer also update item, sorry, in stock list. So, all this process are performed by CPU. Then the third stages is output. The question is, what is the things that computer produce after process? Of course, the, it will produce a receipt. and display the price in monitor.
All the output are displayed through output devices such as monitor and printer. So the last one is a storage. What data or information will computer store after purchasing process is over? Look at any payment receipt. What information are printed? Of course, there is a date, time, purchasing, price to be paid, stock remaining, and etc. etc. and so on. So that kind of uh, information will start in the computer. Before we proceed to the next topic, answer some questions below to test your understanding. You are given about 10 minutes to answer. You can make a you can make a discussions among your friends and you can start now.